Hey guys, this is Fran and welcome to another Inktober video. For this video, I decided to do a watercolor portrait of Niall DeMarco. If you don't know who Niall DeMarco is, he is, um, he's a gift from the Lord, alright? He's beautiful, um, he's a deaf male model and he was in America's Next Top Model. He actually won his season. He was in Dancing with the Stars and won that season. And he's just an all around cool guy, beautiful, handsome man. And I actually got to meet him before he won Top Model. And uh, he's really cool. And when I met him, I actually gave him an acrylic painting I made of his. I've been drawing him since I discovered him, you know. So, of course, it had been a while since I've done a watercolor piece of Niall DeMarco, and, or a piece of him, a portrait of him, I mean. So, it was time. It was time to update my Niall DeMarco portraits. So, I wanted to do this uh, watercolor portrait with flowers in the background. Um, the way I do flowers is I just pick flowery colors for the flower <laughs> like like pink red purple blue and then just do a bunch of blobs like you just saw I don't think I need to explain right but I, I leave them like that because I love the abstract I love what the watercolor does um, the patterns it creates and stuff like that but and then I will go in after the main stuff is dry and I to find some more defined leaves I just love the way that looks so yeah that's what I did that's what I did for the, the flowers I loved how they turned out at this point in the portrait I was in love with the piece I wasn't so sure when I was starting but at this point I was like this is gonna be an amazing portrait and I'm so happy that it was for Niles portrait because I just adore Niall DeMarco. He does so much for the deaf community. My best friend is deaf, so I, I just love what he does, and he brings so much awareness for that community, and I love him. So I'm really happy this portrait turned out in the end, and I say it turned out in the end because once I start to peel off the masking fluid, that's what that beige color on his face is. I haven't actually gone in with color. It's masking fluid. Um, but right here when I'm doing this is watercolor right now it started pilling because the masking fluid actually peeled off a layer of the paper so it looked horrible you can't really tell on camera but it, it looked crappy so I was so upset because I was already in love with everything I had done so this darker color that I'm actually putting on it's gouache this is the first time I've used gouache I just recently set up my gouache palette and um, I figured it's already ruined so let's go in with gouache and see if I can save it because if you don't know gouache is thicker than watercolor but thinner than acrylic so it's you know it's um it's part watercolor part acrylic I would say and it's thicker so the textures from the pilling paper w would probably be hidden and I say it, it was hidden but at the time I, I don't know this is the first time I'm using gouache so I didn't know what, what what gouache could do so if I ruined it I would just scrap the video and either attempt to do this portrait again or move on to another portrait and then come back to trying to do this portrait again because no matter what, I was gonna do this portrait again, but I don't. I didn't know if I was gonna, if I felt felt um, strong enough to make it for Inktober. But as I was working, I I saw that gouache actually covered the pilling and didn't pill anymore and actually smoothed out everything. I I was like in love already, so I was so happy. Um, the mixing of colors because I don't have skin color so I used red and orange and white to oh and some brown to mix his skin and um, I was satisfied it's not it wasn't perfect but it it looks like Niall's skin so that was that and 
I love the way black just goes on so strong and so solid. Um, I've I've loved how gua how other people use gouache. So, um, just to see it in person is so cool. <laughs> it's so cool, and I'm excited to learn more about gouache because um, what I did here with it, it just I'm just so in love with it right now. So I can't imagine how much better it would be if I actually knew exactly how to use it. So I'm going to be practicing more with it, probably make a couple other portraits with it if, if I feel confident enough. The only reason I used it for this was because I thought that it, the portrait was lost. You know, I, I didn't think that I was going to be able to save it, especially not with gouache, but I did and I'm so glad I did. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say about the piece. I love Nao DeMarco. If you don't like Nao DeMarco, you better get used to it if you want to subscribe to this channel because I love drawing Nile. I think he's gorgeous and um, I, I just love drawing him. I, I love attempting to capture um, the beauty of a man that he is. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it and if you did and you're not subscribed already, subscribe. Like this video, comment, and uh, share with your friends if you want. Alright, I will see you guys next time. Bye.